Daytona Bike Week, a melting pot of cruisers, sport bikes, good times, and all the that you can handle. Ten days of fun in the sun, brotherhood, and a celebration of two wheels in beautiful Daytona Beach, Florida. The America of America. Except that's not how I saw it. Here's Daytona Bike Week from a different point of view. Good morning, fam, and welcome back to the congregation. It is Friday, March 1st, the year of our Lord, 2024. Nice and rainy, shitty in the sky, but it's the start of Daytona Bike Week. A lot of you guys have been around a while, and uh, maybe recently you've seen my video where uh, working at the Harley-Davidson dealership was not the best experience that I ever had. I said in that video that I would probably not work for a dealership again. Well, guess what? Your old uncle's a big fat liar. <laughs> But uh, we're trying this again, kind of. I'll talk to you more on the way. All right, boys and girls, let's talk about it a little bit. So uh, what's your old uncle doing? Well, I, if you guys watched my last video, you know, I talked about how I'm looking for a job. I kind of talked to the dealership, told them I didn't want to sell, but I'd love to find a spot uh, within the dealerships. I had interviews for marketing things, for driver, for order. Um, and Teddy Morris reached out to me and said, hey, uh, we got this thing coming up for Bike Week. Uh, basically, I'm working for the Daytona Harley dealership. Now, I haven't, today's my first day, so I'm not going to know what this job is really like until, you know, we get in there and do it. Uh, but it's only through for Bike Week, so March 1st through 9th, 10th, something like that. And uh, as I understand it, we are working with the motor company, some of us, out at the uh, Daytona International Speedway. You know, people coming out there looking at the bikes, doing demos, and if they have a twinkle in their eye, like they might want to buy one of these Harley Davidson motorcycles, then we kind of help coordinate. Uh, this is not a commission based job, it's an hourly job. That's fine by me. Now, if I get to a point where it looks like I'm doing like a lot of the heavy lifting on a sale, I'm going to protest and say, Look, I'm selling this motherfucker, better commission the shit out of me. So while I'm supposed to be working at the Speedway, according to the uh, sales manager and the guy that I'm working with, uh, he's having, he sent a group text to me and this other fella two days ago that wanted us to meet at the dealership at nine o'clock. In the meantime, I'm going to enjoy these backcountry roads. I opted for a nine minute longer route so that way I didn't have to deal with uh, I-95. All right, so the original plan was uh, get off the bike and get cameras out, but holy shit, what a spectacle. My God, man, you've got a little bit of everything here, man. Man, it's hard for me to wrap my head around it, but uh, I mean, it's like, imagine a swap meet, but like a whole city. <laughs> I mean, I've only just come to the dealership. I haven't been to Daytona yet, but, and it's not even like open yet, right? It's 8.20 in the morning, 8.15 in the morning. Uh, I do have to figure out where to park because they've kind of been funneling everybody into one place. And uh, I don't know where it is that I'm supposed to go. So we're going to figure this out. All right, you guys saw it when I came in. Uh, this place is an absolute beast. I did check in with the guy that I'm going to be working for this week. We're waiting for some Harley Davidson executives to come up there. And uh, so he said, hey, go walk around, take a look through the Midway, etc." But I just got a text that the Harley guys are up there now, so it looks like we're going to cut this short. But at some point this week, we're going to get a good look at this place. This thing is an absolute beast. You've got Vance and Hines, Clockworks, pretty much any third-party manufacturer that you can think of for Harley-Davidson accessories, they're here. They're in full force. So I'm looking forward to this Daytona Bike Week. And uh, even though I'm going to be working, I need a little bit of income. Why not? I think I'll still be able to see a lot of it, more than I would if I was uh, living over in Tampa still. So we're gonna go check in with the HD executives and then, uh, yeah, we'll see you up there.
right, so I uh, finally had a few minutes to get around and film some of the things. I can't get everything. I do have uh, somewhat of a little employment timeline to be on. Had our meeting with Harley Davidson. Apparently what we're doing is a pilot program. Uh, I'm not gonna get into the details. I'm not sure what I'm allowed to disclose and what I'm not allowed to disclose, but it's about 9.45 in the morning on Friday, March 1st. And uh, I'm gonna meet my guy from the dealership over at the Speedway at 11. So let's get on down there and check out what we're doing. It's a long way around, man, through Ormond Beach, down A1A. It's a lot quicker to go I-95, but I try to avoid uh, the freeways in Florida more than anywhere I've ever lived in my life. Freeways in Florida, are just you're begging for problems. Ah, uh, Daytona Beach. I've often said if Florida is the America of America, Daytona is the Florida of Florida. All right, well, uh, we made it. The Harley-Davidson complex here at Speedway is absolutely enormous. I have no idea where I'm supposed to be. I just texted my boss, or at least the guy I'm reporting to this week, asked him, hey man, do we know, do you know where we're supposed to go? Cause uh, it's pretty big. He said, hey, I'm just now leaving the dealership, be down there in 30. So I got a little time to maybe walk around and get some footage of what we got going on here. First day of a bike week, and technically our little thing here doesn't even start until tomorrow really. So. Uh, it's going to be pretty slow-ish, plus it's Friday. The way I figure it, weekends, you know, this Saturday, tomorrow, Sunday is going to be busier, assuming the rain holds out. But let's take a look. <laughs> pretty much on lockdown man uh, it was like a full-on interrogation getting through the gates and uh, they wanted names and who i'm here with and what i'm supposed to be doing and i'm really bad with names i forget so i'm like i don't remember the guy's name he's blonde hair tall he's supposed to be running this whole pilot program so thankfully she knew the guy's name and i said yeah i, I don't know if he can vouch for me or not but i did get in they're not technically open today this whole demo thing um, it starts tomorrow which is why they're being a little bit off you know hey you can't come in here without whatever so uh, i'm gonna go put the camera away for a while see what i have to do we'll see if we can get into some trouble uh state my name yeah it's uh i'm uncle bullgator professional motorcycle rally attendee you know daytona is one of those things you you prepare for your whole life you know i've been um i've never been to a large rally because i wanted to make sure everything was perfect you practice a little bit and you know, i've been to leesburg a couple times to st pete bike fest uh, some small ones here and there around the country but uh, th those were all just in preparation you, you can't go into daytona unprepared uh, or or any of the big ones sturgis laconia hell yes brother Hell yeah, brother, hell. Uh, meeting, meeting other other bikers. I mean, uh, God, those are your brothers. You know what I mean? Those are uh, without question because because you're both on two wheels, no matter what else in life, they're automatically your brother. 
You know what I mean? So you, when you greet them, it's got to be a heartfelt. And, and even if you don't mean it at first, like you don't know, you got to practice that stuff. And you can't just you can't just go in there blindly because you, you you give you give the wrong wrong hell yeah brother to somebody, you know, you're like you're liable to get killed out there. It's um, it's why it's for the professionals. You can't just can't just roll in there. Hell yeah, hell, hell yeah, brother, hell yeah, hell, hell yeah, hell yeah, brother. Uh, other nice bikes, sure, man. I mean, uh, everybody knows that my bike is the nicest. It's just that's just how you know we work work real hard on that thing. Um, and uh, when you when you see somebody else's nice bike, you gotta, you gotta let them know. It's it's an unwritten rule. You know, we all know it. It's a kind of like a gentleman's code and um, you know you see it you got to tell them hey nice bike man and it's you see how see how that flowed you see how that came out so naturally and smooth you don't you don't get that you don't get that you're not born with an innate ability to tell somebody a nice bike you gotta work on that you know so I spent a lot of time part of my training session you know after I work out in the morning is um, you know just uh, you gotta, gotta practice nice bike man see I mean you can't do that <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's professional. Hey, nice bike, man. No, 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 more to, um, Hey, nice bike, brother. No, nice. Hey, hey, nice bike, man. Uh, will I go to other rallies this year? You know, I don't know. It's uh, the schedule's kind of full. We're, we we kind of showed our dominance here at Daytona, and um, you know, it just it just depends on on uh, on what happens throughout the rest of the year. I don't think I need to prove myself to anybody. You know, after after our showing in Daytona, but you know, it is what it is, so we'll see. All right, boys, in all seriousness, uh, we, I decided to come out here to get some natural light, not not the beer, just some uh, sunlight, and now I've got these stripes on my face, but we're gonna leave it. Uh, I ended up missing three days. Um, I'm gonna try to make this recap as short as I can. You guys know I'm long-winded, but uh, my plan was, even though I was working those nine days of bike week, my, my plan was a couple of nights uh, during the bike week, I'd get off work and you know get the wife and we'd go back over to Daytona, especially midweek, uh, because I didn't want the big crowds of the weekends. But turns out, man, we went to the um, World of Outlaws sprint races on Monday night. Everything was fine. Was in bed by 10.30 to get prepared for the work day the next day. Woke up at 3.30 a.m. on Tuesday, puking my guts out, man. That lasted um, all of Tuesday. And then Wednesday and Thursday, I had, you know, fever, you know, body aches, whatever. Just some kind of nasty crud hit me for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So I missed all three of those days of work, uh, which in turn meant I missed all three of those nights because there was no way I was getting out of the house. Friday, I go back to work thinking, okay, well, I'm fine. You know, we can go out Friday, Saturday, you know, do some things. And, and Friday after, you know, being laid up sick for three days, still wasn't a hundred percent. And by the time I got off work, I just, I came home and crashed. My mom visited Friday night. So, you know, there's another, I'm not getting out anywhere. Uh, Saturday, Saturday was the first day I felt great, you know, this past March 9th or something like that. And when I got home, you know, we actually got on the bikes getting ready to go to Daytona. And then uh, we had uh, forecasted thunderstorms at 10 p.m. So we kind of stayed local and it's a good thing we did because by 8, 8.30, uh, they had already closed down all access to downtown Daytona, Main Street Daytona. It was so packed in there, they weren't letting anybody else in. So uh, we kind of played it safe and just stayed here local. Had some food, went to our local little dive bar right down the road. And uh, yeah, so if you came if you came here looking for like Main Street action and, you know, big and ass hanging out everywhere, you know, serving beers and whatever, you're not really gonna find that here. There's so many videos out there that already have those things. Um, so I, I I wanted to take a different approach on this video anyway. Um, it just, my hand was forced after the fact, so I'm not really sad about it. Uh, so did I enjoy the bike week festivities? Well, kinda. I mean, I'm not really a bike week person, a large rally person. Um, I think working with Harley Davidson at the demo tent kind of gave me the opportunity to meet a lot of people from all over 
the world. I've met people from all over the world uh, and got to see some of the excitement and see thousands of motorcycles, you know, the few days that I work and uh, without actually having to deal with a lot of the bullshit. And uh, from what I heard, I missed a lot of bullshit. I heard cops were really, really digging on, on bikers this week, or la last week. And uh, I'm not about that, man. So, um, yeah, everything's good. So, thanks for coming along on this video. L a little different for me. The editing style was a little bit different. You know, going to a rally was a little bit different. It, um, your expectations are probably different from this one. And uh, if you like this one, uh, consider hitting subscribe down below. If you watched all the way through this video, again, thanks. And uh, until next time, we'll see you later. Thank you.